Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What time is it? I mean, not right now. I mean, maybe, yeah, right now, but I mean, at the time that we're recording this video, of course, if you're in the chat room at live.perilla.com, we're all in the same time, unless you're watching this video when it's on YouTube or my blog at chris.perilla.com, in which case, it's probably a different time. Um, but according to uh, the time that we uh, set this video, uh, well, we've now advanced a few more minutes. Looks like it's 11.02, according to my ticks clocks here in my hutch. Uh, oh, it looks like it's 11.03 according to my epoch clock see that I, I it it's it's telling me the time but it's in roman numerals so they're not really numerals at all it says xi iii and then i can switch that to the you know the regular old uh, decimal system uh, 1103 or i can go to hexadecimal ob03 sounds like a droid uh, there's 1303 and that would be octal and of course 1011 one one binary so you got one two three four five five different ways of reading the time actually six because it's the epoch clock so it's got the unix epoch time uh, running in the lower left hand corner of course it's got the date in the upper right hand corner and pm in the upper left corner um, there is an alarm uh, that is a part of this particular clock it's clock it doesn't have a radio on it uh, but it does have an extra USB port on the back, uh, so you can uh, plug in a device, charge it overnight. You know, it could sit on your, you know, desk, sit on your nightstand, you know, no matter. You've got a port that you can charge things on. It does use an AC adapter uh, to go. There are a couple of batteries inside. Those batteries are used just in case the power accidentally goes out or if you take it offline, so to speak, uh, for however long you've got enough uh, power for, uh, everything will be remembered uh, because you've got the batteries running as a backup power source. So this is uh, the uh, Epoch clock available exclusively from thinkgeek.com, most likely the geekiest clock in the world. I thought my Tix clocks were geeky. In fact, that was probably the only uh, the only time I think they left off or type, type of time that they could have given number system because that's not really binary just a series of lights. Um, it's just, it's just, it's great. It's geeky. Come on. You gotta love it. Okay, maybe I, maybe I have to love it. And I do. Uh, and if you want to get an Epoch clock, don't just, uh, you know, buy one outright because, of course, you know we have Think Geek coupons on my blog at chris.perillo.com. My email address, chris at chris.perillo.com, in case you'd like to uh, tell me about a geekier clock, if you know of one. It's a challenge for you. Can you, can you accept that challenge? Will you accept that challenge? Will you accept the challenge of stopping by our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com? Plenty of things going on there, including people who could likely, um, uh, you know, do everything uh, you, in uh, Roman numerals. It's kind of scary because you really couldn't get very far. What's the Roman numeral for zero? I don't think there was one, really, which is kind of an interesting thought. <sighs> And you know what else is full of interesting thoughts? Our chat room. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.